Yeah, no, don't even lie to yourself. Of course, I'm making another Sea of Thieves video. The first one was fire. Anyway, uh, if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, this video, uh, the raw footage, is about an hour long. Editing, five hours long. Yeah, kill me. Anyway, enough of that editing nonsense. I hope you stick around till the end of the video because we got some insane loot off of this boss. Anyway, see you guys later. And uh, cue the epic Giorno intro. As always, you wake up on an outpost next to the mysterious stranger. Again, I still don't know who this guy is. Please tell me in the comments below if you do know who this guy is. Anyway, we grab our supplies and we look off to the distance. This is where the tyrant of the tornadoes are. See that big red tornado in the back? Yeah, that's where the boss is located. We set sail and, you know, as per usual, I'm the one driving, yay. But uh, no worries, I actually love driving in this game, because if you have this game, you know how satisfying it is to dodge rock. Oh my god, it is super satisfying. Anyway, as we get closer and closer, and it starts, the day starts, you know, arriving, I can see that from a distance, it looks super small, but it is a huge cloud of smoke and debris inside of it, red swirls going all around, freaking blood tornado. Oh, man, it's crazy. Anyway, we get to Wander's Refuge where the boss is located. Whoa! What the hell? Yeah, that's right. It's huge. What did I tell you? Blood tornado, man. Freaking crazy. Anyway, I uh, lower the anchor, swim to shore, and then started going to where the tornado was. And on the beach, there it was. Red Ruth, the boss. Now, this boss has, I think, four or three. Three, four, or five stages. I don't exactly remember, but each, each stage is super deadly. And it's all fire-related because she just wants to burn people to a crisp. Stage 1, so she leans over and she starts belching fire. Now a tip, if you actually want to fight this person, start shooting her when she's in that state because no matter where she spawns, in our case, she spawned on Wanderer's Refuge, but no matter where she spawns, there will be an ammo crate nearby, so make sure you use an advantage of that, because trust me, I used that ammo crate so many times, we probably wouldn't have beat that boss without the ammo crate. Stage 2, Minions. So she spawns other skeletons. Now these skeletons aren't normal skeletons. They're a little bit weaker, but I'm pretty sure they do more damage and they move faster. So they get in groups and they might have low health, but they quickly stab you and cut, 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 and you will die super fast. So make sure you use AoE abilities, throwable items, such like that. I'll put a little fire thingy or whatever that throwable is called, and charge attacks on swords. Oh, so satisfying. You can just hold a charge attack and slice through them. Amazing. Her third stage, her blind. Now, right now, the blind is really useless because, you know, we can clearly see her. We can clearly see our allies. But as the fight gets on and on, trust me, this blind is so much, it's basically pitch black. Worse than nighttime in this game. And that's really saying something. So, we are forced to leave the premises around her because she, won, she was one-shotting us and we didn't even know where she was coming. Freaking crazy, man. This is an OP ability. But don't worry, this game isn't completely busted, alright? There's still, like, she can still go into weak form if you damage her enough. She goes into weak form, she's like, you'll suffer for this, ah! And then we can, you know, get, get a couple shots in, you know. It's not completely busted, but still, it's a really long fight, and this is just, this t fight is basically testing your endurance on how much DPS you can dish out. Her fourth ability, ah yes, the most broken garbage thing I have ever fought against. Oh my god, Xbox, what the heck were you thinking, bro? She literally charges up, takes like a second to charge up, and a huge shockwave. Anyone within an 18 mile distance from her gets launched back and will take continuous burn damage until A, you die, or B, find a water source. Now what's even more broken about this is some areas you can get launched into a place where you'll get super low health and there'll be no water around you. Free insta-kill. And what's even more OP is she'll do this when you're blind in her smoke. 
Yes. Remember how I was saying how the, her, this character is basically OP? Yeah. She is the worst boss in this game. So if you want to see more insane bosses like this one, leave a like and subscribe and I'll make more videos like this. Make it rain, because that's her final ability. Yes, her final ability literally is like lava rains from the sky. So if you're in the open, you'll take burn damage all the way until the ability is over or you die. Also, meteors that one shot will be falling out of the sky in random places. So if you cannot find a cave, an enclosed area, or anything of the sort, you will snap and die just like that. It is insane. I don't know why this is so OP, but the first time around, I just died because I didn't know you had to go under cover because I thought the meteors just damaged you. But no, there's also lava rain. So the burn damage is just freaking through the roof you know what was really funny is uh when she was ulting all of us died now what's really cool is even if all of you die the boss doesn't despawn like in terraria for example and when all of you die you go to something called fairy of the damned and this is basically davy jones locker you know that type of idea and when you die you go on the ship you wait a couple of seconds until the guy says i you're too ugly to be here get out of here he pushes you out of the door it's really cool but Every single one of us died, so we were just messing around in the boat and waiting till it opened. It was really funny. At one point, I was just so done, she was like hiding in the safe cave, so I instantly just run there and started blunderbossing her repeatedly, and I didn't even realize I was taking damage because at this point, my mind was melted at holding the left click button for hitting her so many times. Why does she have so many hit points? Oh my god. But just as she was about to cast her blind ability, me, Merrick, casted the final blow. And Kamyar was just staying behind us, you know, pushing us, make sure we don't chicken off. Thanks, Kamyar. And we finally did it. Oh my god, this took so long. This is probably the longest boss fight I have ever fought in my gaming career. Freaking long. How, why is it so long? Anyway, I, when she died, she we got a couple of chests, chest of rage, and her skull. Now, what was really funny is, if you hold left click on her skull, fire starts spitting out. So I tested that on a couple of skeletons, and it does damage. So I walked up to Kamiar here, as you can see, I just held left click, and I just kept burning this sucker, because I was just so tired, just like, haha, left click, go burn, kill Kamiar, haha, haha. Uh, of course I revived him, because that'd be very toxic if I didn't, but I can't believe I did it, bro. I can't, I it burned Kamiar to a crisp. I am the new boss. Since my brain is as small as a monkey's pinky finger, I killed myself with the own skull. I don't know how I managed to do that, but I was looking at the footage. I just died. I just held left click and I was the one taking burn damage for some reason. So then I went to the fairy of the damned, you know, when you die, and I actually got the freaking soul or the fire and it gave me five ancient coins, which if you didn't know, is very, very good, like, value. Like, it is an amazing currency in this game. So, if you're looking for ancient coins, just get fire from the dead boat or something. Oh, you thought the video was going to be over when I defeated the boss? Ha, huh, you fool. Uh, when will we kill her? She drops her skull obviously couple of chests but also the chest of rage now the thing is even this game hates you so much even when you kill the boss if you don't constantly pour water on the chest of rage it will blow up your ship not kidding it will just blow up everything you just did I don't care how long seven hours of work will be gone if you don't pour water on this chest of rage. So we pour water on this chest of rage and we cash in our loot. Yes, finally, after all this time, we cash in our loot. Let's go. Oh my god, it was totally worth it though. The doubloons were amazing. Oh my god, so many doubloons. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It takes so long to make these videos, and you doing that helps helps out small channels like these. Anyway, thank you guys so much for enjoying this video, or just sticking around till the end. And see you guys in the next one. Bye! -bye, 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 -bye.